Many of the floor types in Revit, whether in the architecture or structure discipline, are similar. However, there is one different type that is called metal deck or steel deck. Let's see why it is different and how we can manage it. Here we are in a structural default template and I want to create a metal deck floor. So let's go to a structure tab and open this floor and create a floor structure. So I'm going to just switch this floor type to this one, a metal deck. And then I will just create a very simple rectangle floor like this in here. Now you can see that the span direction is in this part. So this means that if I hit finish, the decks, the direction of the metal deck is going to be from left to right or right to left. But if I switch this span direction to this part, we will have metal decks from top to bottom. So I'm going to hit finish and now I need to just create a section from this part to here. Let's flip it and make it a little bit bigger. Now if you go to this section in here, if I switch this detail level to fine, you can see all of these parts with the highest detail. To change this line weight, you can either turn these thin lines off like this or you can change the scale. So I'm going to put it in 1 by 10 so I see all of these details in here. If you select it and go to edit type and to edit section, more than 90% of the details and parameters and options are going to be the same. But there are a few differences in here. One of the differences that we have in here is that the metal deck layer is following a profile. And that profile is only active when you select this structural deck. You see in here, we have a few different default options that you can select between them. If I select this one and apply, you will see that the form is going to be changed. Now to add a metal deck layer, you need to first change the function to a structural deck to this one. And then you need to have a profile. As you know, metal decks could have different shapes and forms. Let's see a few examples. In here, you can see that they have different materials, they have different forms, they have different sizes and dimensions. And sometimes in your projects, you might need to create these metal decks yourself. You need to create customized metal decks, maybe more complex than these, maybe with more parameters that you need to control. Now let's see how we can create one ourselves. Just go to file and create a new family in the profile category. Since we don't have any unique category for metal decks, we are going to use simply this profile. But inside this profile, you need to make sure that the category is on metal deck. So you need to go to floor category and parameters. And in here, you need to switch this profile usage to metal deck to this one a slab metal deck and okay even without this you will have this family on the profile section of that floor but if you create it like that if you like change the category to exactly what you need your schedule at the end will be more accurate and it will have like exactly this family on the like metal deck section before creating the profile itself let me just show you what we are going to create because that way it will be easier to understand where we should create these reference planes so i'm going to just simply create one unit of the metal deck that we need to create its family so we need a simple line like this in here and then we are going to create a very simple detail like this and then another line it will have this shape in here and then after that another line like this and then the last line now this is the form that we are going to create but we need to mirror it for the other side as i said we need to create one whole unit so i'm going to just simply mirror it like this now for creating this shape for creating this profile and for like being able to manage it and control all of these dimensions inside the project you need to create parameters for it and for parameters we need to have like reference planes so we need to have a reference plane in here i'm going to just make it a little bigger and then i need to copy it or you can just draw for each part we need another one in this part in here and then in here and then another one for this part 
one for here another one for here and another one for the center but i'm not going to create it because we already have this line in here and then we need to just repeat all of these parts for the other side i'm going to select these reference points and then i am going to just mirror them for the other side now these are all the reference planes that we need for controlling the like widths of these different parts but for controlling the height we again need some more reference planes i'm going to just create one in here and then another one for controlling this part we also need one more for this part but we are going to like make this this part and this part equal and then we will have the overall height in here again we don't need to create another reference plane for here because we have this base reference plane in this part as well to we select all of these filter only reference planes so i'm going to uncheck these lines and then i am going to just move them from this point to here let's just move them down to somewhere around here and that's it now we have all of the reference planes and the next step is to create dimensions and parameters for this center for this part exactly and also for these parts i am going to create some dimensions from this part to here and then to here and after that i am going to make them equal we need another one for controlling the size of that part and we're going to turn this into a parameter i'm going to repeat it for all of these parts and then we are going to select them select these dimensions that were not equal and then we are going to create a parameter for them let's just call them a and okay now all of these parts are going to be the same after we load them into the project the next parameter that we are going to create is for this part from this line to here it is going to be exactly this line in here but we are going to create the reference plane we are going to create the parameter exactly from this point to this center so we have the overall kind of width for this part from here to here and then to this part move it up and make it equal and after that another one for creating the parameter itself select this dimension and let's just call it b and okay the next part is going to be exactly from here to here so i'm going to just simply create a dimension like this let me make this part smaller much better and then another one from this part to here and to here select both of them and let's call it c and okay we need one more part i mean it's two parts but i want them to be equal so i'm going to create one from this part to here another one from this part to here and we need to repeat it for the other side now select these parts and let's call it d and okay this part is going to follow exactly d but this part is going to be like double this size because if i want to like have all of these metal legs next to each other when i copy them like this you can see that this distance is exactly d but d times two so this part is going to be d but this part is going to be d times two so if you want to have like equal distance between these parts you need to make sure that you either like create separate parameters for these parts or like um, calculate this part before and create like reference planes and dimensions for those separately for controlling the height as i said we need one dimension in here and another dimension in here for controlling the height of this part and this part and then inside it we can create something like this which is going to be the overall height you can either create the height like this or create it from this reference plane to this reference plane it doesn't matter it just depends on your preferences select it and create a parameter and let's just call it h and for these two parts you can either like select the same a parameter that we had in here so you have like square details like this or you can like create them separately i'm going to create them separately because i want them to be like half size of the a so we have a more 
like rectangle shape for those parts so i'm going to write a filter for that click on ok and now these two parts are going to be exactly the same now that we have all of the dimensions and parameters let's create the profile itself go to create and use this line i'm going to start from here you will see the snaps so make sure to follow them then i'm going to click on this part and then here to this point to here and then i'm going to go to this part here and then to here now we have like half of the unit and you can either like mirror it to the other side or continue drawing i don't suggest mirroring because we need to make sure that these points are going to be locked with these reference points so i'm going to continue creating and drawing them myself now this is the profile that we are going to have and let's just check if it is working correctly go to family type and i'm going to switch this a to like four centimeter apply okay you see that these parts are not connecting correctly so we need to go back and use a line for this part make sure it is locked and also for this part i'm going to just move it to here and also move this part to here and again for this part move it down repeat it for the other side and also for this part this might happen you just need to check it yourself again for this part i need to make sure they are connected and go to family type and put it on five apply perfect for B, let's go with like 12 centimeter. Perfect. C, I'm going to put it on like 6 centimeter. It's this part. And then D, I want it to be like 5 centimeter. Okay, you see that this part and this part is exactly the same. They are following the same parameter, so they will be changed exactly together and then for e i want to add a formula as i explained before i want the height of this part to be half size of the width to be half size of the a so in front of e i'm going to write a divided into two and okay now you can see that the value in here is exactly half of the a and it doesn't matter if you change e or you change a and they will always follow this formula so i'm going to go with like 15 millimeter in here and if i hit apply you will see the difference in here and the last parameter we have is the height and i'm going to put it on only 10 centimeter and apply and okay so all of these parts are working correctly we checked all of it and now you need to like delete these parts and then go to file save the family give it a name and just simply load it into the project now let's go to section view select the floor plan go to edit type and the edit section if you click on this structural deck and open this deck profile you will see the family that we just created select it click on ok and ok and now this is exactly the family that we just created you can see all of the details and all of the sizes and dimensions are following the parameters that we just created if you want to like change these parts if you want to control it better well you don't have any option in edit type you can see in here that it is only following the profile so you need to change the profile itself for doing that you need to go to the project browser in here you need to search for the families and then you need to find the category that you just created this family we created in profiles so you need to find the profiles and open it and then search for the family that you just created we created this one it's metal deck open it and then right click on it and go to type properties and in here you can see all of the parameters let's check some of them for b i'm going to go with like 15 centimeter apply and this part is going to be changed also let's change the height to 12 centimeter and okay perfect now you see that all of the parameters that we just created 
are working correctly together now you can continue with the next step which is going to be adding rebars or reinforcement if you want to learn more about the floors or how you can add rebars to different parts of your structure make sure to watch these videos